Hello, hello everybody, hello and welcome. Welcome to Let's Code for the Older Folks. My name's Les Thatcher. Um, today in this session, carrying on with our uh, MicroPython. Um, moving on, learning little bits at a time, little bits at a time. At this time, we're going to learn how to get um, analog readings with MicroPython. Right? So, <coughs> So what we're going to do, we're going to use a MicroPython firmware and we'll read the values of a potentiometer. We've used a potentiometer before, all right? Now, as we know, um, the MicroPython, uh, sorry, the ESP32 has what we call ADC pins, analog to digital converters. All right, it's quite a few of them. I'll put a, a list of them in the uh, description below if you want to have a quick look. But it's, uh, I say, analog digital converters. We're going to be using 34. All right, today we're going to be using 34. So let's just come over to our uh, drawing and see what we got. Let's set up our little circuit. Our little circuit. So we've got our potentiometer. Remembering it has uh, three pins. Just show you. Okay, it has uh, three pins. The right pin being, I call it live, but it's where the power goes 3.3 .3 volts. You got uh, a second pin. The second pin is signal, and on the left is ground. All right, so that's a, a potentiometer. We've looked at that before. We have looked at that before. So what we do, we take the 3.3 volts to the, our 3.3 volt rail. We take our signal pin, I've used yellow, and we're going to ADC GPO 34. And then on the left, we go around and we go to our ground rail. Got that simple little circuit, simple, simple. Right, let's go to our IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Again, we're using Thony. We're using Thony. Right, so it's quite a, a simple little sketch. Quite a simple little sketch. Um, and what we'll do, we'll quickly go through it. And then we'll write the sketch, quickly go through the meanings, and we'll test it. Right, so let me just get comfy. So we've done this command before from, yeah, machine, import, pin, capital P on the pin, comma, space. We need to tell it it's ADC. All right, so a capital ADC. All right, from machine, import, pin, capital P, comma, ADC. Enter from time import sleep all right so we're in the importing the sleep command then what we need to do is pot equals a our potentiometer adc capitals brackets on now we need to tell it what pin so it's oh capital p i n brackets on and we're on 34 Brackets off, brackets off. Change this color nicely on the brackets. All right. Then we want to give it the range. All right. So pot for potentiometer. Dot A T T E N. Okay. Brackets on. A D C capitals. Dot A T T N. Capitals underscore eleven DB capitals brackets off. All right, and that gives us our full range of three point three volts. So far, so good. And now what it is, we want a, a simple while loop. All right, so it's while true capital T on the true. Colons, what do we get after colons? It's bad if I could spell, spell while, would it? 
After the colons, auto indent. Remember, the indents are um, need to be correct. All right. Pot underscore value. Okay. Space equals pot densiometer dot read. Brackets on, a brackets off. Changes color. Enter. Print. Right now we want to print our pot values. Okay, brackets on. Pot underscore value. Brackets off. And then after that, we want to give it a little sleep command. Remember, sleeps. Uh, oh, I'm sleeps. <laughs> Timing is all done in milliseconds, so it's 0 0.1 millisecond. Sorry. Millisecond brackets off. Right? So, that's our code. Uh, to read the analog imports, we have to import the classes. So we've imported pin and sleep. Right? Then we've created the ADC object called pot. Right? Pot ADC, and we've told it it's on pin 34, so that's the object. Following line defines that we want to be able to read the voltage, the full range of 3.3 volts. Okay, so it's pot.attten, that line there. Right? Now, what we need to do, uh, attention, the full range of 1.2 volts it's got here. All right? And then the while loop, right? We need to uh, read the pot value and save it. Uh, the pot value is a variable, right? And to read the value from the pot, we simply use the uh, word read, the command read, right? In the method uh, on the pot object, right? So that's the read. Then we got the print. We want to print the value, all right? And then what we want to do at the end, add a delay of 100 milliseconds, all right? Remember, everything's in milliseconds. So what should happen? What we do, first thing we do, we'll file, we'll save that, save successful. What I'm now going to do is um, run the program, and the way we run the program, we come up to here, run current script. Now you can see at the bottom, we've got a value of zero, a value of zero. Watch what happens when I turn the potentiometer. Our value changes. I'm going to go fully to the right on the potentiometer. Fully to the right. And that gives us our full, full value of 4095. Now I'm going to go to the left. Back down to zero. Okay. So that's how we read, all right, the analog value right, of a potentiometer. Simple, but it's something we need to know because as we uh, move on, we're going to be using analog, uh, analog readings with um, with our code. All right. So hopefully you learned quick something there. All right. It was a quick little video. I assure you, they do get longer and they do uh, get more more interesting. <laughs> is a word interesting, more complicated. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session. Bye bye.